Okay, hi there, welcome to a little series of videos thinking about the price mechanism. Uh, we've been introducing market prices, supply and demand theory uh, to my class this week. And so in this session, we're going to explore for a few minutes some of the key factors that might bring about a change in the market price of strawberries. Of course, in a free market system, prices are determined by the twin forces of supply and demand. Now we can see from this chart that the annual average price of strawberries grown and harvested in Scotland uh, from 2003 through to 2017 has been volatile. But also I think you can see that there's been an upward trend in the, the average price, which perhaps is good news for strawberry growers north of the border. Here's a little exercise for our first video. So we're going to look at eight factors, eight separate factors that could affect the market for strawberries in the UK. And your challenge, your task is to think, well, which way will prices go? Do you think prices will go higher or will they go lower? And perhaps offer a little bit of reasoning. So this is the moment to press the pause button on the video uh, and uh, write down or jot down where you think prices are going to go for each of them. Let's see if you can get eight out of eight. So the first factor, a fall in the number of migrant workers coming to the UK, for example, from countries such as Bulgaria or Romania, to work in the farming industry. Likely effect? Probably the prices will go up. Other things being the same, if you can't get the workers you need, that could lead to higher wages being offered. And, uh, and indeed, it could even lead to a supply shortage if you can't actually collect uh, the crop uh, that's available. So other things being the same, I think that would probably cause higher prices, higher wage costs and perhaps um, a reduction in the, the crop that's collected. Lots of issues, perhaps during 2020, for example, uh, superb weather in May during lockdown, sadly, um, and a, a crop that in theory, a bumper crop of strawberries across many counties of the UK. But there were fears that there wouldn't be the, uh, the influx of workers from mainly Eastern European countries willing and able to work in the farm in the fruit picking industry, highly seasonal work, of course. Although it did seem to be during the late summer that lots of students, for example, and other people decided they would they would try and earn some extra money on the right hand side there. A farm flooded with applicants from the UK wanting to pick fruit. The second example, adverse weather conditions. Well, in most farm markets, in most agricultural markets, if you get adverse weather, excessive rain perhaps, or drought, poor temperatures, unseasonable, unseasonable uh, weather, uh, if there's an adverse condition, reducing the yield of the crop, prices will go up because supply has been reduced. Now, what about number three, a large fall in the market price of ice cream? What do we think here? What would happen to the price of strawberries if there is a price war, let's say, in the market for ice cream and that comes down? Thoughts here? I think the price will probably go up and we discussed this in class uh, and uh, we think the main reason will be increased demand because Ice cream and strawberries probably quite close substitute, uh, close complements to each other. If the price of ice cream goes down, people will buy more strawberries, and if people are demanding more strawberries relative to supply, the price might go up. Which reminds me of my favourite joke: a man goes to the doctor and tells him he has a strawberry growing out of his head, and the doctor says, "I'll give you some cream for that." Now, what about uh, the fourth factor: cancellation of big events? And we're talking here big events: Wimbledon horse racing and of course the tutor to you summer party what's the impact on the market for strawberries what do we think my instinct is the price would go down because uh, big events like Wimbledon uh, big horse racing events and uh, other summer festivals for example and of course the tutor to you summer party are huge users of strawberries so if those events are cancelled the price is going to fall because of falling demand and crucially as our class discussed this morning that would probably lead a surplus supply and unless somebody is willing to buy up the surplus stock, the price mechanism would drive the price down. Turns out, by the way, that when Wimbledon was cancelled uh, during the uh, obviously before the summer, the big supermarkets, including Tesco, including Aldi, they bought up hundreds of tons of strawberries, which might otherwise have been used at these events, and have been selling them pretty cheaply for several months now in the supermarkets. So you had replacement demand in the market. We're halfway through. What about number five? What did you get for this one? A large rise in sales of fruit smoothies and fruit protein yogurts in the UK are becoming increasingly popular. What do we think is going to happen to the price of strawberries? Well, our class thought that the price would go up 
because uh, there's a there's a growing demand for smoothies and protein yogurts, and of course strawberries are used as a component, as, a, as, as an ingredient in those. By the way, we call this derived demand, that if people are buying more strawberry yogurt, that's going to lead to an increased derived demand for strawberries. Innovations in strawberry farming, which allows for multiple harvests each year. So some sort of innovation. It could be a better crop uh, controls. It could be better use of fertilizers, polytunnels, etc. What do we think is going to happen to the price here? Well, in this situation, we thought that this would lead to lower prices because if you have multiple harvests or if you have, you, know, you can harvest for longer during the year, then that, that increases the supply relative to demand. Two to go. Can you get eight out of eight? Out of eight? Uh, number seven, a change in consumer tastes away from strawberries towards blueberries and bananas. Of course, a blueberry is basically a sad strawberry, but let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, what's going to happen to the price of strawberries there? Well, probably a fall, I would guess, because there's been a switch in demand. A change in consumer tastes and preferences brings about a change in demand. And the demand would shift to the left, demand would fall relative to supply, the price would go down. Here's our last one in this video. Uh, the UK government introduced a tariff on imported strawberries, let's say after we leave the European Union. We, we bring a tariff in on strawberries imported from Holland or whatever it is, France, what have you, Spain. What's likely to happen here? Well, we thought the price would go up. Uh, our focus here was on the supply side of the market. Uh, if you're a, a strawberry retailer, a uh, wholesaler, for example, if a tariff is placed, a tariff is a tax on imports, so the tax is going to increase the supply cost of the strawberries you're having to import into the UK and most suppliers in that situation would have to would think about passing on the higher cost to the consumer in the form of higher prices. Hopefully this has been a useful exercise it was our introduction to supply and demand and we're basically saying look prices rise and fall when there are changes in demand relative to supply or supply relative to demand. So we're going to move on in the second video for great notes to go through the key factors affecting both supply and demand, in this case for strawberries, but you can use these factors in any market you like. So that's going to be our second video on the market for strawberries.